Hey guys, Shreya on this side and while preparing for Google coding round, so I'm doing top 150 question and this is one of the good question which I found like find the peak element. So peak element is the one which is greater than it's both the neighbors left and the right. And these are the few of the conditions which are present into the question that it has to be solved within big of log n. And the second one is num of i not equals to num of i plus one. So input, which is nothing but a nums array. Okay, so no two values are equal, uh, not equals to i plus one, uh, the neighbor one, both are not equal. Element is greater than a neighbor that is outside an array. What does this point say is that the last and the first point, right? They are always considered as the higher from its, uh, uh, you can say that in this, the last one, there is nothing from its uh, right hand side, right? Because it's an end of an array. So it is considered that it is strictly greater than from its right child. Generally, there is nothing. It's outside of an array. So it is considered as uh, greater. Only we have to consider the left. Similarly, for this one, index zero, it is considered as it is greater than it is left side. Okay. Return index of the peak element. So that we have to return. So in this example, two, four, two, five, six, seven, five, the output is we can return both either one or five. So this is index one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. And this is index five. So if we return anything, both is fine. So here, if you understand this with this graph, so two, four, two, five, six, seven, five. So this is how the graph gonna look like. And if you see the peak is two, this is the one because it is greater than it's both the neighbors left and the right. And similarly, this seven, this seven, it is also greater than both its neighbor. Okay. So we can return any of this index. Okay. So first is like big O of N is very simple. Like we will iterate over this N array. And for each one, we will check its neighbor that if it is greater than its neighbor, we can simply return that index itself. The uh, big O of N brute force is very, very simple. And that's why question specifically mentioned that solve it with big O of log N. Now, like my intuition was like, uh, when I'm solving this, right, I'm trying to build an approach also. So whenever big O of log N comes, right, what I understand is that you have certain array and every time we will either go left or right. Okay, so whichever side we will take, let's say left, then again, we will divide it either left or right. Okay, so we have to go like this. And this generally is like binary search approach and generally works on a sorted input. But here in this case, like it in question, it's never said that that uh, this nums array is sorted. So one thing like I'm just thinking like how to solve this in big O of log n or something I am missing here that uh, it can we can use this binary search. So that's where I found this second condition which is given in the question is important to achieve this big O of log n. So here if you see midpoint generally what we do is we always compute midpoint so if for this question if we consider this midpoint there are only three scenarios possible so whatever the midpoint you have chosen that is itself is a peak point so this is itself is a peak okay and here you have lower value and here also you have some lower value and this is a peak the second use case is whatever the midpoint you have chosen that lies in somewhere lower part and some peak lies here. Okay. And the third condition here is that whatever the mid you have chosen that lies here in the left hand side and some peak lies here. Okay. In this part, only these three use cases is possible. Okay. Now, which one to go? So now let's say that if I have uh, pick a mid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
so now let's say that i have chosen a mid and for now i am getting this this is my mid now how would i know when like whether i have to go to the left or whether i have to go to the right okay because these are unsorted values i can't know that that's where this second condition is helping me to achieve this or to get this knowledge so it says that num of i not equals to num of i plus one okay so now with that being said here in this scenario mid is lesser than its i plus one okay so this scenario so we are saying that can peak lie here how so now when we are saying that this is my mid now i will search in this part now how can i be sure that peak will lie here okay any one of the peak peak can also lie here but that's the question says that we can return anything either this peak or this peak so it's okay whichever we return but how we will make sure that there is one peak lies at this part so now here if you see mid this value is mid is lower than this right hand side one okay and in the question it says that num of i is not equals to num of i plus one means the next value is not equals to this so the next value either could be lower or it could be higher but it cannot be equal let's say that if it is lower then definitely this would be your peak okay so it again lies in here itself so we found a peak and other use cases it it is not lower higher so definitely if it is a higher okay there could be an another point which could be i plus one is not equals to nums of i so it could be lower or higher if it is a lower then this would be your peak if it is not a lower then there would be some other higher okay then again it could be lower or higher so now you got this point right how this condition is helping us to achieve this uh, binary search of uh, thing because it makes sure that once you go up then either you keep on growing you keep on uh, keep increasing and if you reach till the end then the question already says that element is greater than a neighbor that is outside an array once you reach an end it is also considered as this is the highest right other is out of range so then you you have a peak otherwise once you are going up 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 and since nums of i not equals to nums of i plus one so it if any point it goes down then you also you have a peak okay so with because of this we can achieve big go of log n okay so if there is any use case where mid is less than this left hand side so i will go into this part okay i know that one peak might be lies here definitely there could be some peak also present here but the question says that you can return any index okay so it doesn't matter both are acceptable so that's the approach and that's what i have coded for so uh, coding is very simple but what's the approach we got it so this is for the only one and two index and it's uh, the coding is very simple binary search basic binary search so you can check it out but yeah the concept one i wanted to discuss